down the rails. Streaking down the New England coast or across the Nebraska prairies, diesel electric streamliners have shattered all records for rail speed without sacrificing safety. By setting new standards of economy, they have won the confidence of railroad men. By setting new standards of speed, comfort, and convenience, they have won the support of the nation's travelers. Greater speeds are helping the railroads solve their problems of competition and are giving the rider more for his money. The Pennsylvania Railroad Electrics, swift, silent giants of the rails carrying the heaviest passenger traffic in the world. Run after run, they complete their amazingly fast schedules on time, providing all the passenger comfort afforded by electric power. A wise investment made in the leanest years and it's paying dividends. Speed on the high seas. Two superliners are today waging a thrilling contest of speed. A short time ago, the French liner Normandy sailed into New York Harbor with the shores of Europe only four days and three hours behind. A new record. But it was soon to be challenged by the new speed queen, the Queen Mary. Constantly greater speeds from such ships reduced interest time on valuable shipments, thus cutting distribution costs and making possible greater profits for business and lower prices for the consumer. Speed in the skies, the Douglas Airliner, racing the sun by day, the pullman of the sky at night. Cruising at over 200 miles an hour, it annihilates distance between the Atlantic and the Pacific. No transportation achievement is more thrilling, more spectacular. It is winning the confidence of the nation's travelers and saving busy executives many busy days. Yes, in all forms of transportation, the achievements of the last few years have electrified the world. Speed in industry, so that man may write and read, section after section of this mighty paper machine must swing rapidly along in step, so that the delicate web of paper, some 300 miles a day, will not be broken on its journey from soupy pulp to finished bond or newsprint. 64 pages for two cents. Batteries of high-speed printing presses whir and turn, so that millions of people may have the latest news. Here again is speed and unerring accuracy helping to give us a 64-page newspaper for two cents. Speed in the food industry. Machines roll and grind, bolt and convey, mix and stir in order that more people may have more and better bread. Industrial speeds are giving the housewife, too, more leisure time. The latest in modern electric refrigerators on the production line. Here is another example of increased productive efficiency through higher speeds and technical advances, advances that have cut refrigerator prices almost in half in the last 10 years, that have made the advantage of electric refrigeration available to everyone. Three cars for every four families. Modern machinery makes it possible to turn out automobiles so inexpensively that today three out of every four families in America own a car. Compare this with grandfather's time, when only one family in 20 could afford a horse and buggy. America's great industrial advance, the greatest the world has ever seen, and the greatest increase in wealth and well-being of the common man, are the results, gentlemen, of your activities. For machines and the power that drives them have made possible the automobiles, refrigerators, papers, telephones, bathrooms, canned foods, clothing, the things upon which we daily depend. Speed and accuracy together, spelling industrial efficiency, have given the United States more purchasing power than all of Europe, have enabled us, with only 7% of the world's population, to create and own more than half the world's wealth, to produce more than half the world's foodstuffs from 6% of the acreage, to make 92% of the world's automobiles and run them on 500,000 miles of paved highways. Why is such a tremendous increase in goods possible? Continually increasing productive efficiency, wider and wider use of high-speed, accurate machinery to create more goods for more people at less cost. Look at the increase in automobiles. Our 31 million American families today own 24 million automobiles, 3,000 times as many as there were in the country in 1900. And look what's happened in telephones. 17 million today compared with 2 million at the start of the century. A new product, the electric refrigerator, 
Already, there have been over 9 million installed in the United States alone within the last 20 years. Another development of the 20th century, the radio. And today, our 31 million families own almost 23 million radios. What is behind these modern developments? Why did they take place? The answer is increased efficiency in industry. Machine tools, the machines that make machines, through high speed with controlled accuracy, are bringing thousands of products within the reach of an ever-expanding market. The story of more goods for more people. This super lathe, used for machining shafts, was especially designed with extreme rigidity and wide speed range to determine the maximum cutting possibilities of the carboloy tools. With a 64 thousandths of an inch feed, this lathe trims a cut three-fourths of an inch deep from a 13-inch nickel steel billet at a speed of 300 feet a minute. 100 spindle speeds are available through a twist of the control handle. With its 100-inch table turning at capacity speed, this giant boring mill, with the aid of carboloy tools, can remove 156 cubic inches of nickel steel alloy per minute, or a cut one inch deep at a speed of 100 feet per minute with one eighth inch feed. 14 motors drive and guide the mill, which is conveniently controlled from panels at either side. Speed in the tool room. Here's an easy way to saw intricate shapes and contours of various types of blanking dies. The saw is passed through a drilled hole and brazed together with a special brazing attachment built right into the machine. Then the desired shape is sawed to within 10 one thousandths of an inch of the layout line. The saw is cut off and the die contour finished with a continuous filing belt. Speed on the production line. 300 pieces per hour tumbled into the conveyor from this centerless grinder which rough grinds and finishes permanent mold iron slides. In the rough grinding process, five one thousandths of an inch of material is removed and five ten thousandths inch is taken off in the finishing operation. The improvised conveyor returns the pieces to the operator for the finished grind after the first operation has been completed. This Multomatic is another excellent example of modern speed and accuracy. It rough drills, bore cuts a recess, and finishes the bore to a tolerance of three ten thousandths of an inch. In this operation, it fills a 750 thousandths inch diameter hole in a permanent mold iron casting. In the finishing operation, the precision boring spindle turns at a speed of 350 feet per minute with a 25 ten thousandths inch feed. more speed on the production line. Here we are broaching an oil blade slot in a steel forged crankshaft. The broach feeds at a speed of 30 feet per minute. The floor to floor time is 15 seconds. And the work is held to a tolerance of five ten thousandths of an inch. Tough material, close tolerances. Watch this four spindle miller machine a teardrop section from rectangular bar stock at one pass. It handles tough materials such as monel metal, nickel steel, escaloy, and super escaloy, and will give accuracies from minus nothing to plus two ten thousandths of an inch at any point in a gate gauge. Here the finishing cutters are moved out to show the roughing cut. The operation is about five times faster than by previous methods and with only one-fourth of the scrap lost per run. Yes, today is unquestionably the age of speed, speed with accuracy which is bringing more work to the factory, more money to the worker, and better living to everyone throughout our country. And of paramount importance in the ever-increasing rapidity of our era is the machine tool, the machines that make machines. To the great part that machine tool builders are playing in this tremendous increase in wealth, in producing more things for more people at less cost, this meeting is dedicated. Mm -hmm.